Good morning, beautiful people. When I tell you I am sleepy, I am so sleepy. But I had an appointment to bring my car up here to have them look at it because it's pulling on the right hand side, which I have like a, a year wheel alignment. And then also it just seemed as though it's loose. It did my brakes and some other front end work on my car less than a few months ago. I'm not going to even say less than a year. I'm just going to say less than a few months. So the mechanic that I like coming to see, he, he won't be here to 10. I jumped up this morning. My head is spinning for the last few days. Any kind of little slight movement, it just feels though I'm going to pass out. I really feel like I'm going to pass out. My doctor calling a prescription for me, but that prescription is $206. And it's for the swelling and the pain that I'm experiencing. So I had to call him back to see if there's anything that can be substituted for the medicine that he originally prescribed me. But today I knew it was gonna rain. So I, didn't, I wasn't planning on doing a whole lot today. But since I'm out, I might as well just get a couple other things done. But there's nobody in here but me and this other lady just walked in here. And I'm over to the side by myself. I think I'm going to take my little nap, y'all. He'll be here at 10 and it's like 9.45. So I got like 15 minutes before you get here. Now I'm propped up. Wish I had a pillow and a blanket. I'd be complete. I have an appointment coming up within two weeks. But to me, it's just two weeks seem as though it's taking too long. Too long. I called yesterday to see have, did this doctor have any cancellation. And she didn't have any cancellation, so I'm gonna call them every day. And hopefully I can get in sometime by next week or at least a week earlier than what they, you know, the date they gave me. I don't even understand the pain I feel. I get on this camera and I try to smile and give you something that I just don't have within me and that's just any kind of happiness or joy right now. Less than highly favored, but I'm just in a lot of pain. And I've been this way for a very long time. Even before the accident that took place at the hospital in 2018, it really has I want to say it have aged me because I just, if you go back and look at my videos back from 2018, I just don't look the same. And I know we all have to get older, but the tiredness and the pain that I have and the swelling, you can see a difference. You can see a difference. Okay, y'all, so many of us, when you're trying to get some rest, why in the hell do everybody, I mean everybody, try to bother you? Now I just sat back down. One of the other mechanics come back to him. He won't talk. Then my phone beat, and it's something about the COVID shot. Let me tell you something. If I didn't call you about the shot, don't call me. Cause my thing is, so now they gonna start driving us crazy about this COVID shot like they did with the voting. It should be some kind of law that these phone providers should not sell your number. Cause now they finna start driving me crazy. But I tell you what, the text I just sent back, I hope somebody read it. I hope somebody's able to read this text I just sent back. Cause don't be texting me telling me about no shot. And if I didn't go down to one of these sites to get a shot done, don't text me. Please don't text me. Cause I ain't got nothing but time. I would text you all day and night. Don't do that, yes? All right, yeah, let me see what's going on. I'll call you back. I guess taking a nap is not an option. Now see, I just sat in this chair and, and propped my head just a little, my head is swimming, like I'm just, I'm like I'm gonna pass out. I feel like I'm about to pass out. It's so gloomy. But things gotta get done. Remember when I used to work at Delta, I used to work at Cargo. 
It don't matter how the weather was, it could be pouring down and you still gotta get outside in the rain and get those people packages and stuff off. In the cargo department, but we dealt with packages. Even the post office would bring stuff to have it shipped by plane. Oh, that's what I'm gonna tell y'all. Okay, so y'all know what about a dealership the other day. So we sat out there, me and Roy sat and waited for the guy to come back. It took him almost about 45 minutes an hour to come back. Because that young guy said, okay, I would recommend that you see that particular guy who just left. And I said, okay, fine. So upon him coming back, I kind of recognized him and I didn't because when he got in the car, he got in so quickly. I really wasn't paying attention. But when he came back, he had some food in his hand. So I thought, I didn't see the food at first. He was going towards that desk. So as I was getting ready to get out the car, he came from behind the desk again with some food in his hand. So we said, okay, it's probably gonna be another 15, 20 minutes because he's going to eat lunch. Okay, fine, we came at the wrong time. And when he returned to his desk, I get out the car, go over to the man's desk. Hold on. I go over to his desk. And I told, I told my situation about the car and the buzzer. That man looked at me like, your car is too damn old for us to service. We, we don't have the equipment to service it. You have to go to this place called Christian Brother. Well, Christian Brother is expensive very expensive. They're higher than a dealership to me. And if you don't know something about cars, they're gonna give you the run around. So I told him, you know what, just forget it. He said, because we don't want to take a chance and mess up your ignition. I said, baby, let me tell you something, this car is older than some of these folks you got working up here. And if they mess the ignition up, it don't cost that much to replace it. It's a 2002 Dodge Durango. But the bottom line was, he dismissed me. I said, well, I guess I just have to do it myself. He said, yes, just do it yourself. I just didn't say anything. I turned around and I left. He dismissed me because my car was older. Because if it's a Dodge dealership, I don't give a damn what year the car is. It could be a 1950 something. If you service on Dodge vehicles, you the manufacturer of the vehicle, you service the vehicles, why the hell you can stop that buzzer? And he knew where it was. So in other words, get the hell on. We not gonna do it. We don't have the equipment. How you gonna not have the equipment? And y'all want somebody to buy a car from you? Uh-uh. No, sir. I'm not buying no Dodge. I am not getting another Dodge. I don't have my share of Dodge and Chrysler. I'm trying to think what was the name of the Chrysler I had. Cause I was trying to tell you about the Chrysler I had when I was younger. It wasn't a Chrysler 300 because they didn't even have those out when I was coming up. It was another one. If somebody knows what I'm talking about, leave it down in the description bar. Because there was another Chrysler I had. I don't know. But yes, yeah, so I just left, we left me and Rob, we went home. We was going to go downtown and record a little bit, but ended up falling asleep. And luckily we did not go back because lately Georgia been having a lot of crime in the city area. So that particular night, someone got killed on the expressway and it would have been the same expressway we was going to have to take. So I told her maybe it was best that we, you know, had not gone back downtown. I want to go down there and record a little bit, but hell, y'all may have to get the country living. I ain't going down in that foolishness. Even with Neiman Marcus, you know, I told you I wanted to go by there, but come to find out, if I order what I want online, they tell me if, if I place the order before three, I still will get it the next day. These stores are hurting, and down in the city of Atlanta, they hurt real bad, and the crime is ridiculous. That's why I say you better do your research before you come here. Everybody going through something, there's some hard times, and they are doing anything in order to come back what they're going through. Especially if it's financial. They got a financial situation. They ain't giving a damn about robbing and killing and stealing from people. So you better be careful when you come. I ain't never came in here and it's this quiet. There is no, well, it's another lady just came in. Ain't nobody else in here. 
Look, y'all, when I came here, I said, oh, they've been cleaning up. Look at here. It's look dust free and everything. I looked up in that damn ceiling, and Charlotte Webb is still up there in the corner. Waiting on that pig to put a word up there in the corner. I get one clean me. The tires usually have dust all in. That's the only thing they don't clean is these tires. I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat. I thought about doing some vegan tacos. And then the other day, well last week, they had buy one get one free. They had a lot of vegan food on sale. I picked up the pancake mix. And there was something else. They had like a cheese wrap. Where you can do different kind of wrap sandwiches. Pick that up. I'm gonna go by Sam's to get me some more of that salad. And then I gotta take some back to, uh, oh, I gotta take that candy back to Home Food. Do you know that candy was stale as hell? I bet a piece, gave my grandma a piece. She said, no, this ain't it. Mm -mm. Then I tried the milk chocolate, the balls. You know, when you have candy like that, those round balls, it's almost like a diver, that real rich chocolate. Bit into that can and just crumble. So I'm gonna take that back. It's a home good close to me. So I'm not going back to Atlanta. Going to somebody, you gonna take it back to Atlanta? No, I'm not. I, I'm not going back. Go right there when he finished and take it back. So that's almost twenty dollars in candy. I can't believe that big bag was stale. I hope they don't give me no hard time. I got my receipt. I hope they don't give me a hard time. I need to call Frederick's because last year I bought some, um, I bought some shapewear, right? They're going to send me something used without a tag, so I sent it back. We now are in February. So I had to send them another text. Y'all, she ain't gonna let me shine. She ain't gonna let me shine. I just tell it to you later on, y'all. Listen up. But anyway, I sent it back last year. I immediately sent it back. So I had to text them, a, no, I emailed them a couple of times. So recently, the beginning of this month, I emailed them again. So they called us up and sent me partial of my money. And you know, if you order anything from Frederick, I haven't got anything. I have, I don't think I ever, yes I did. Back in the day, they used to have the Frederick's. I would get the, uh, the breast covers for certain dresses and stuff I would wear. But I haven't seen any stores in a very long time. So I decided to order some offline, but I don't think that's a good idea because they didn't even have a customer service number. And I don't know why I tried because my motto is, if you don't have a customer service number, where someone can contact you or you physically can get to them, you're gonna have a hard time trying to do a return if you need to. So that was my fault. You know I went through the situation with the computer part last year. That took almost six months for the right people to get their part in order to refund me my money. And then when it comes to your credit report, I, I check my credit report every day. Some things that should have fallen off for us, you know, when you pay your monthly bills, the companies are behind in reporting. So therefore it's reflecting on your credit as if you still have not paid and you got receipts. I'll call them too. Like I said, I ain't got nothing but, but time on my hand. So yeah, let me put this camera down because it's shaking. I'm hungry as hell. I ain't in the eat. And y'all finna start doing a Harlem Shake. If I don't put this camera, if I don't put it down, y'all gonna start doing a Harlem Shake. I'm gonna try this again, but I know it's not gonna work. Somebody gonna come over here and say something. Soon I close my eyes, somebody gonna come say something. I don't sit here this whole time talking and the camera went blurred. I'm so sick of this camera. If anybody have any suggestion of another kind of camera that don't have these kind of issues, please let me know. Please leave it down below because I am, I don't like Canon. I really don't. It takes this camera too long to focus. And then it don't stay on long. I'm just sick of this camera. I'm gonna miss the shot because it's trying to focus. Take too long. 
But I'm gonna sit here, y'all, and try to take another nap. But most likely, somebody else gonna come wake me up. But I'm still gonna try. I'll call y'all back. I'll call y'all back in a minute. And hopefully I won't be up here too long. Since ain't nobody up here. Look. She ought to talk aloud too. Anybody else? Alright, so he said I need a little bit more work done, which is understandable. I've never had a brake line flush. I'm going to get that done. He told me to check on the front hubs. Now, I just purchased that less than six months ago. So, I'm going to have to go home and look up the warranty for that. The positive battery post needs to be replaced. So, he over there, I said, well, how much are the charge to get that done, right? It's a new guy up in here. He don't pull it out the calculator. He don't hit that damn keyboard about 50 times. I just knew he been tell me about two, three hundred dollars, but baby, you can't do that to a lady who use coupons. Uh uh. And I used to work for an auto mechanic shop. Work for this company called Marshall Newsom, and the other shall be nameless. I refuse to tell you. I refuse to tell you the name of that one. So I know something about cars. Used to sell tires. Used to sell rims. I've done it. Okay. I have almost done it all. But that post, I guess he looked at me and thought about it. He said $52. That's not bad. The part should cost them more than about $10. But you know, I got to pay for labor and I don't have a problem with that. The brake fluid flush, he said, is going to be $80. I never even thought of that one. I've never had it done since I've had the car. And it's, look how old the car is, 2002. So to flush the brakes, the, the brake line, I told him, okay, that's fine. I'm going to do it today. It's starting to fill up in there. We're going to go to these other two places I want to go. And I'm going to go home, take me a shower, a hot shower. And take me a nap. I'm tired. I'm really tired. He didn't do the buzzer. He said he can do it, bring it back. I should have asked the little young guy in how much was the chime. Because he said, you know what? I'm going to go back in. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm going to go back in. He said it's not the ignition. He had to go down into this box down here and figure out which wire it is to dismantle. So you have to be careful when you're talking about wires. I also was wondering, do you think I can get my emission done early? Because my birthday is not until August. I'd rather just go ahead and get it done now. So when tag time comes around, I think I have to pay for it to tag. So I need to check on that too. All right, y'all, I'm back. I went back in there and told him, okay, you yeah, wrote the prices down for the other jobs that I need to get done. How much would it be for the chime? So he really didn't know. I said, well, really it would be like a diagnostic. I used to work for automotive show. So I said, about what? Anywhere from $60 to $70. So he said, uh, yeah, that's, I'll just put that down. So I think next week, if time allows, I'm going to come back and just get everything done. It'll be about a good two... Let's see, be about roughly about 240 for everything. So I need to see the next day he's going to be here, my mechanic, and let him do everything at one time. So we can start recording from the car. I do not want to hear that bell anymore. A little peace and quiet would do me fine. Because it's really annoying. And I guess now that I'm. These kids are not really small anymore. And like I said, I tune them out. You have to as parents. If you got more than one child, you better start learning how to tune these kids out. Because if not, 
Uh, do y'all see my gray edges? You see my gray? Mm -hmm, you won't keep them. But part of these grays come from y'all. Some of y'all. Some of y'all gave me these damn grays. But I tell you, since I've been on YouTube, y'all have aged me a good 15 damn years. But I'm going to get my youth back. I'm going to get it back. Show Liz. I'm going to get my youth back. Because y'all have aged me. You really have. How do y'all get on my nerves like these kids? Get on my nerves? Uh-huh. Yeah, you know who you are. You that family member that don't nobody talk to that often. But guess what? I still love you. I love you. Let's get out of here, y'all. Let's ride. Uh-oh, we ain't got no buzzer. Ooh, ooh, no bell, no bell. You can read my bell. I used to hate that song. Ooh, I used to hate that song in school. Oh, there it is. We gotta go. Bye. I wish y'all could have seen this later break. It's so beautiful. Real pretty. I guess I'm gonna have to go on the other end anyway. I need some avocado. And she gave me a gift card for what I brought back. It was outdated. Oh, there was a lady up there, right? And she came in, she wanted to get a car service. I'm gonna say this, ladies, you gotta learn something about a car, something. If it's something very simple, learn something. Or better yet, if you're ever in a situation and your car needs to be repaired, look up what the situation may be and just kind of guess at it find out some information about it so when you get to the place that you're going you ain't got to know nothing about it i mean if you talk a good game they're not gonna know it and also you won't be spending an arm and a leg i'm not gonna say we don't get desperate because i have been in a desperate situation i have been in a situation where I just wanted somebody to fix my car. And I have been in a broke position where I could not afford to get my car fixed. I got these two. I did say avocado now. But yeah. So she was up there, she wanted to um, get a car fixed. She said, I just want my car fixed. He looked at her. She may have just needed an oil change. I think when she come out of that, she gonna pay full price for a whole damn engine. For a whole engine. So like I said, I worked at an automotive shop, but it's been years, many years in my 20s. But you gotta know something. You ain't gotta know a whole lot, just a little something to get by and to get the service that you deserve without paying an arm and a leg. I see, when, when you look like you don't know nothing, they take advantage of you. And he sat there and looked at it like, okay, I got you. You will be got today. Oh yeah, just like being a mother. We don't be knowing exactly what's going on with our kids, but we kind of have an idea before we take them to the doctor. Is this Aunt Lemon okay? Baby, let me tell you something. You can talk a mean game, but you gotta know what you're doing. Just talk a mean game and see where it gets you. I'm gonna get these. I don't, oh no. I, didn't, I need some avocados, but I don't want these are too soft. They won't last in the refrigerator. So let me go back around here and pick out a better bunch of us avocados because they're on sale for 250. Oh these are soft y'all. Look. It's too it's like mushy. I don't know because when they feel like that they ain't gonna last that long. But for 250 you get four in here. So four going to 25 would go six times so that's like 60 some odd cents per avocado. I'm gonna get the limits. I only got two of those. I want to sit here and try to fill on all these damn avocados. So as you can see, I told him the price I wanted to pay. That ain't what the guy said here. I said, it's like a diagnostic. So hell, that's $70. Because it wasn't like he was going to put a part on it. Only thing he had to do is go in the car and disconnect the wire. He told me that. So why I'm going to pay you three $200 for you to pull a wire? But if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to pay that. I really felt sorry for her. I started telling her to ask for this certain guy up in there because, like I said, the OG, he been up for a long time and he can fix on some cars. I found me one. I found one. Okay, that's what I got. I'd rather have these. These are a little bit ripe. I'm saying more, they're, they're not really ripe yet, is what I'm trying to say. 
I'm gonna get this one. I don't know who that's calling. This one of the kids. I bought some eggs, right? Come on, Lee gonna tell me they're frozen. I said, okay, if they're frozen, just sit the damn eggs out. Just leave them sitting out. So I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm trying to think of what else do I need before I leave this store. Is that that lady who spit on that woman? They didn't hire you. No, I don't think so. Have y'all seen that uh, video that's circulating on Facebook? When I tell you my skin was crawling and, 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 and my blood was really boiling, then she came back with a counter video showing something else. We can't get caught up in some of these videos that people putting on YouTube and some of these other social media outlets because they would have you in jail. Can't damn defend them. They really would have you in jail. I'm finna do some shrimp and grits. Sit right there, y'all in the freezer. This is $8. That's quite a few shrimps in here. If you put two bags together, that's $16. And that's rather big. These colossal raw, easy peel shrimp. Let me just get one bag. These are really big. These colossal shrimps are really big. And I'm telling you something with that by public, right? Because every time I went by there, they claimed they didn't have the, the lobster tail that was on sale. Now the sale's going off. I think I'm gonna ride out to BJ because they got four 16 ounces in a tray for um, $30, I think. Oh, hell, y'all freezing. Hold on, let me tell you, buddy. I'm just gonna get one. Um, y'all know I did that shrimp meal, right? Well, y'all haven't seen it yet, it's coming up. I did the shrimp meal, and y'all know when I eat, when I cook food, I don't like to eat because I get full from just the smell of it. I've tried everything and it's not working to sub subdue that, that feeling. So I told Kumbly they can get it. They ran downstairs. They got their meal prep bowls, right? Went through that thing so fast. And then they sat there and argued about who got, who got the most shrimps. And they were, I mean, the shrimps were just huge. They're arguing about who got the most shrimp. I need some oranges. I need some canned oranges because I like to put it in my salad. Yay, they got toilet tissue. Huh? And I wanted this somebody shopping cart. Okay.
Okay, it's not bad. Okay, where did I park? Help me, help me, please. There go my baby. There she go. Hey, baby. Hey, sugar. There go my baby. Do I want to go somewhere else? It's really coming down now. I guess I better go and get it over with some of you outside already. Okay. So I'm going to head a home good. I'm running there right quick. So glad I didn't throw that receipt away. Okay, yeah, I got it. Then she gave me a gift card. I forgot to use it. All right, y'all, see you in Home Goods. I may take you in there with That is so nice. I haven't seen a sectional patio set. And this reclines on this end. This is cute for the summertime. That is so cute. That's nice for a picnic. Picnic basket on wheels. Oh, they got the Manuka honey in the large size. That's big. How much is it? Thirty dollars. I always come up here to check to see if they have any kind of unique seasonings. They have some really nice stuff in here. I mean, I have stuff on my YouTube channel and I just, it's put up. I don't know why I do that. I do not know. How much is this bowl? Five dollars. That's cute though. Not today. That's cute. It's Snoopy on it. And look, one little Pooh and Tigger. And then you got Snoopy again in its PJs. That's cute. Happy camper. Let's see. Oh, this got the whole storyline of a cartoon on the cup. How much is it? Six dollars. That's not bad. Y'all you know what? I have a thing for measuring devices. I don't need them. I just like to collect them. When I'm trying to show other people how to cook, I like to show them in measurement. Now, I don't know why I didn't think to come in here to see if they had a shoe rack. How much is this one? This cheaper than what I paid. 